Okay, so hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your iPod Touch 2nd gen on iOS 4.2.1. So, let me show you. Um, so, first, um, I'm going to sh no. First, I'm going to show you that I am on iOS 4.2.1 there. And I'm an MB model, which means it is iPod 2nd gen. If I lock the device. I can also show you that it is on. It's got a passcode on it, and it's got the planet background, which isn't the default background. So let me unlock it there, and it is also connected to Wi-Fi. So now back to the computer. You want to get this zipped folder here, which can be found in the link in the description below. And I'll just say this now, this video is for entertainment purposes only and any damage that could happen to your device I'm not responsible for. Any damage that could happen is very likely to be able to be restored. So then, yeah. So first what you want to do is you want to extract the files. So they're just going to extract, so I'll be back when that's done. Okay, so now you can see that it is extracted to the desktop. And what you want to do now is you want to open up Red Snow and click on that. And what you want to make sure now is that your device is connected. So, right now you've got this pop up, so you close this down. Um, so, you want to browse for your software, and it'll be in Pwnage, and it's this. So, you click open, and it will process your firmware. So, and it's probably going to come up with a message that says whether you've got. MB model or an MC. Here, here. Is this an MC model? If it's an MC model, it's actually an iPod um, 3. Yeah, so I was an MB, so I'll click no. And it'll say IPSW successfully identified. And now it's going to prepare the jailbreak data. So it's going to do all that. Usually it takes about a minute. Oh no, it's going a bit quicker. Right, and now it gives you the option. So what you can do here, I like to install Cydia because that's the main reason for a jailbreak. And uh, you've multitasking and home screen wallpaper and battery percentage. Then you want to click next. And now you have to turn your device off. So the next bit is going to require two hands. So I'm going to put my iPad up here. There. So, what you want to do now is you want to power off the device. Like that. Right, and now you're going to click next. Now you're going to hold the power button for three seconds. One, two, three. And then you're going to hold the home button as well for about ten seconds. And then you're going to release the power button, but carry on holding the home button. And you do that till you get the option jailbreaking. Then you can take your hand off and the jailbreak process will start. Now it does reboot quite times and it get, get downloading jailbreak data. And as you can see here it says please wait while your device is being processed. Now all this coding will come up, don't worry. It's normal. You get five or so of these please wait 
No, I think it was 10 or something. Anyway. Right, now on here, on your computer, you click Finish. And that's done. And you don't need your computer anymore, so you can do whatever you need, but keep the device plugged in. And now it comes up with, yes, it does, it comes up with a pineapple, with a headband, with a bite taken out of it, running. And it will go through this process, so we'll be back when this is finished. Okay, so now the it's finished going through that, and now it's just going to reboot. So... Yep, that's gonna be that's gonna reboot, and then I can show to you that um, none of your apps or settings will have changed. It's gonna boot up any second now. All right, now it's booted up, and as you can see, the Earth background is there, and there's still a passcode on. So I'll unlock that, and then you see it's iPod Touch second generation, and it's got um, a home screen wallpaper which isn't enabled until I was seven. So Wi-Fi is still connected. Still on iOS four point two point one. Uh, MB model. It's all the same, except for you've got a usage tab down here now, and you can turn on battery percentage now if you scroll over there is Cydia the reason for why you jailbreak so you can open that and it will go through all that file system stuff and that will take about a minute it took a minute for me anyway so yeah and that's it that is how you jailbreak your iPod touch second gen